After natural gas is produced from a well and initial separation has taken place, it will travel through a gas meter to measure the production. Those meters may be on separation vessels monitoring production volumes, or they'll be used in custody transfer where the gas is measured and the midstream company takes ownership of it. In this video, I'm going to show you four types of gas meters. Hi, I'm Kyle with Kimray, where we help energy producers solve their biggest control challenges. Producers use several types of flow meters depending on their gas volumes and fluid properties. Each one of these meters can be used in both upstream production and midstream transportation. In upstream production, they can be used to monitor individual well production, custody transfer at the sales meter, or to meter the amount of chemicals being injected. In the midstream, they can be used for inventory measurement, process control, fuel management, and regulatory reporting. The first one we'll talk about is a mass flow meter. The mass flow rate is the amount of liquid that passes through a meter over a given unit of time. A mass flow meter measures the rate and is dependent on the density and velocity of a liquid, as well as the size of the meter. The Coriolis meter is the most common mass flow meter used in the oil and gas industry. Using motion mechanics, it splits the process fluid into two tubes oscillating in opposite directions. Voltage is generated by vibrations, sine waves are created, and the time delay in motion is proportional to the mass flow rate. A thermal flow mass meter measures the fluid volume based on the heat transfer or temperature change from a heated element positioned in the flow stream. The more fluid that passes around it, the faster it cools, indicating greater flow volumes. Thermal mass flow meters provide excellent accuracy and repeatability. The next type of flow meter we'll talk about is a velocity meter. With this type of meter, the velocity of the fluid passing through it determines the measurement. The most common velocity meter is a turbine flow meter, which calculates flow based on the fluid flowing through a free spinning rotor. Each revolution of the rotor is read by the magnetic pickup and corresponds to a specific volume of gas or liquid. Because of the moving parts and the operation, turbine meters are limited to single-phase fluids, such as dry gas or liquids. To compensate for the varying applications, pressures, and temperatures, those variables must be accounted for in the flow monitor to calculate an accurate measurement. Vortex flow meters operate under the vortex shedding principle, where an oscillating vortex occurs when a fluid flowing past a bar positioned in the flow path generates a frequency that can be read by the meter. Because there are no moving parts, it is ideal for applications where low maintenance costs are important. Ultrasonic flow meters measure the difference in pulses transit time that travel from an upstream transducer to a downstream sensor, and vice versa. Ultrasonic meters are highly accurate, but very expensive, and require extra input for pressure and temperature. The third type of flow meter we'll talk about is a pressure differential meter. A pressure differential meter operates by measuring a pressure drop across a fixed obstruction inserted into the flow path. Both orifice plates and venturi tubes operate by restricting flow, which causes pressure to drop. The pressure differential that's created allows flow monitors to determine the flow rate using Bernoulli's equation. Temperature and pressure must be considered for accurate measurements. The final type of flow meter we're gonna talk about is a positive displacement meter. Positive displacement meters use fluid to displace mechanical components to measure volumetric flow. Compensations for operating temperatures and pressures are needed for accurate measurements, just like with all the other meters. The most common type of positive displacement meter is a diaphragm meter, which can be found outside of most houses to meter natural gas usage for utility companies. Thanks for watching. 
We hope this helps you better identify and understand the types of meters found in oil and natural gas production. To speak with an expert about metering or any other upstream oil and gas application, contact our Camry product and applications team.